Audrey, I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. <coughs> Just beautiful. Gorgeous. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot this past few days. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. It is done. Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. The ink is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? Don't fret. We're going home. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. And now, we die. Attention, children of the machine. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Attention, children of the machine. It's Wilson. There have been lies and the ink demon has been started in animation alley. Pay no attention to these filthy rumors. I destroyed the demon myself. He died by my hands. So don't be afraid. Your friend Wilson will protect you. This is Wilson. yourself, Audrey. You're still weak. The Keepers can be 
relentless to strangers. But there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. You're safe now. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists. It breathes, it flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pen. The foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release out there. But first, this world must be controlled, made safe. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away? For newer, greater things. I need your help to save my father's life. This is our start. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Stay close. This place isn't as safe as it once was. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. What did you say? Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. No. He's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that <sighs> soon enough. <sighs> Would you have believed me? Audrey, you made it good. Outside, my dear, we have much to discuss, but make sure you're ready. Where we're going, there will be no return until we've accomplished our mission. Thank you for coming all this way. The Ink Demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned. Humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon, and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come, let me show you my creation. Good city, beautiful. Simple but elegant, a treasure, powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall, and we can have peace at last. No, we don't. All the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the 
right soul. At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I lie. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, industrial genius, business tycoon. For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lowly son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, it keeps the ink demon from getting in. It's time to die, Autry. And live again. As a god. <coughs> Where we're going, there will be no return. How very interesting. Such knowledge. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey Drew, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning. When the delivery boys dropped one of the crates, it smashed open, and inside, there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was, so the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. When I first entered this world, it was an untamed wilderness, a wretched crawling slum ruled by that grinning demon. From chaos I brought order, from order I brought peace. Once you cut the head from the snake, the snake bleeds out quietly onto the ground. Now, the only question that remains is, what if the head grows back? The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing, and he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray.
It's been years, and my face is still a mystery to my co-workers. They don't know me. They avoid me, as if I carried some infectious disease. At first, this was an insult. But now, it is a gift. With the right costume, I can play the part of anyone. I can go completely unnoticed, hidden amongst the shadowed walls, as a clerk, an artist, a producer, or even a lowly janitor. It's important to seize an opportunity before it slides through your wrenched fingers. The past so often dies without passing on its bountiful secrets. But oh, Mr. Joey Drew, the secrets you've left behind. How very interesting. Such 